Hi everyone, welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. This is not going to be a couponing video, but this may look familiar if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul. So I found these turkey oven bags at Dollar Tree and I have never used them before. My grandmother does and every single time she uses them, the food comes out amazing. So I decided to cook a turkey a little bit early just to see how it would come out and you guys it was amazing so I found this at Dollar Tree and as you can see I picked up the turkey size and they do have a bigger size so I will let you know that even though right here it says 8 to 24 pounds I cooked a 12, 12 and a half pound turkey and it was just the right size. I would be a little um, cautious if it was any bigger because you just need a little bit of room and it's going to make a lot of juice when you cook the turkey. You can also put hams or chicken, any other meat that you would like, you can put inside of here. And always, if you want more bang for your buck, look for the bonus packages. So this one usually has um, just two bags in it, but if you can find the bonus bag, there's going to be three. So this is definitely a must get, especially if you have a Dollar Tree near you. And it's very simple and very easy to use. And if you guys are wondering what the brand is, it is the Home Select oven bags. And this is the turkey size, so I would recommend about 12 to 13 or 14 pounds at the most, even though it says it goes up to 24. So um, I'm going to flip it over here. First, it does come ne neatly folded inside of the package, and um, these bags are just amazing. So it says right here, that this is turkey size and you can cook all ingredients together. So if you have potatoes, carrots, celery, stuffing, you can still put all of that together with your turkey and you can use the oven bag doing that. You don't have to stir or you don't have to baste the turkey and it minimizes the mess as well. And it says the food is juicier and tastier and yes, they are 100% correct. It tastes so good and it's not dry. It is just perfect and it does make a lot of juice, like I said. And um, it says that there is less cooking time, which yes, that was the case for us. And the turkey that we had had a little um, red timer on it and it was right on point. So that was awesome. So less cooking time is always great. And as it says here, no messy cleanups. You guys, this was super easy and anybody can do this. Now, I do want to let you know that you can put this bag in the oven. It's not going to explode. It's not going to burn. So do not worry, but do not place it directly on the oven rack. Make sure you guys have this inside of a, um, a pan. Let me show you guys the pan that I use. Okay, so this is the pan that I use, and it's a pretty big one. I just rinsed it out because, like I said, we just made a turkey, but this is the size of it. So it's a pretty big pan here that I use. So um, I definitely recommend that you guys have this. If your dollar store has a tin one, the exact same size for a dollar, that's going to also make cleanup even easier for you guys. So you're going to be at Dollar Tree anyway picking it up. So look out for the tin ones or the aluminum ones. So you guys are probably wondering how you actually use this oven bag. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your turkey out of the refrigerator and it has to be thawed out. So make sure it's fully thawed out and preheat your oven to 390 degrees. And you can adjust that if you would like, just like I did. So if you would like um, a more slow cooked turkey, put the temperature at 325 and that's what I did and it came out perfect. 
Now, once you open the bag, this is the bag, and it's a pretty good size, but like I said, 12 to 13 pounds I would recommend for this, and one end of the bag is completely closed, and the other one is open, and that's how you're going to put the turkey inside of the bag. And you guys, it also comes with a little twist tie, and we're going to get to that in a second. So um, you want to open up the bag and you need to have one tablespoon of flour and you'll just take the tablespoon of flour and put it into the bag as shown here and hold the top of the bag that is open and kind of um, jiggle it around and make sure the flour gets all around the bag and that's going to help prevent the bag from bursting while it's in the oven. So that is important, make sure you guys do that. So after you do those two steps, you preheat the oven. I recommend 325 and you put the one tablespoon of flour into the bag. You then want to place your turkey into the bag. Now we do like a little bit of seasoning on the turkey. So we season it before we put it inside of the bag. And if you want to put any of the other ingredients such as potatoes or vegetables, stuffing, you can put those in at this time. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place the turkey that is in the bag on the baking pan that I just showed you guys. And after you place it on the baking pan, you're going to want to take either scissors or a sharp knife and you're going to make um, six slits in the bag. And that's going to let out a little bit of steam and that's also going to prevent the bag from bursting as well. And here are the directions. So after you remove the turkey or the meat from the oven, you want to make sure that you let it rest 15 minutes after you take it out and remove it from the bag that we cooked it in. And be careful because the juice that it's going to make is going to be a lot and of course it is going to be hot, so be very careful. And what I do is I just cut off this twist tie that you're going to tie up the bag with when you're done. And you just cut it off and then you're able to open it. And I like to cut a little bit more down the center of the turkey when it's done. And that way I can let out all of the juices towards the bottom of the pan to make gravy. And then just take this um, plastic off and throw it in the trash right away. Also inside of this package, you're going to find the um, directions on how to cook your turkeys. So this is super helpful and for a dollar, you definitely can't beat it. And you can cook any meat that you would like in here. There are tons of um, different ideas for pork, lamb, beef, and there's nothing here on the back, but you guys, this is definitely worth it, especially for a dollar, and this is a three-time use. I cannot wait to use this again. It is super simple, super easy, and you don't need a whole lot to do it either. And um, like I said, if you guys are doing a big turkey, make sure you guys get the large size. And it won't say turkey on it. It will just say large size oven bags. And those are a little bit bigger than these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this product review video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that notification button so you do not miss out on a single video.